Hi, hello and welcome to another class. Today we will learn about the continuation of the first part 1, pair of linear equation in variable 2 variables, part 2. In this video, we are going to learn about the representation of inconsistent lines, pair of lines and uh, coincident lines or dependent lines and the graph. So, first of all, let us recall the various types of situations already we have discussed in the previous video. So, there may be the condition one that the two lines may intersect at a point already we have discussed in the first video. Now, we are going to discuss about the second uh, topic that is uh, if uh, two lines if they intersect they if they did not intersect or you can say if they are parallel lines and uh, that means inconsistent and third one is coincident or dependent uh, they are overlapping lines. So, in this video we are going to discuss about these two topics for second and third topics. So, let us uh, recall the definition of uh, inconsistent pair of lines that is if a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equal to 0, 8x plus b2 y plus c2 equal to 0 or two linear equation two variables. Then if we, uh, if we take the, um, the that means uh, if you take the ratio of this uh, x coefficients and y coefficients and constants if a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 and is not equals to c1 by c2 we can say that they are not intersecting lines we can say they are parallel lines so they did not intersect at any point and we can say there will be no solution such pair of linear equations are called uh, inconsistent pair of linear equations so let us uh, take uh, an example and uh, here we can say uh, 2 x minus 2 y is equal to 4 and 3 x minus 6 y is equal to 6. These are two uh, linear equations. If we take the ratios of the coefficients a1 by a2 equal to 1 by 3 and b1 by a2 equal to 1 by 3 and c1 by c2 equal to 4 by 6. We can observe that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2. Hence, we can conclude that they are inconsistent lines. So, if they are inconsistent, so uh, draw the let us uh, draw the graph. Well, first of all, let us prepare the tables. That means uh, order pairs will prepare the order pairs for the first equation and the second equation. They will be like this. And uh, if you plot them on the graph, definitely they are parallel lines. You can observe this. That means there are these are the points. Uh, if you uh, plot and uh, draw and join them, you will get two parallel lines they will never meet they will never meet so we can conclude that we can conclude that observe that the lines which represent a pair of linear equations uh, uh, will not intersect at any point so there will be no solution for the linear equation such pair of linear equations are called uh, inconsistent uh, pair of linear equations and when you draw these on graph they will never intersect so there will be no solution for such pair of linear equations now once again let us recall the special case already we have discussed in the previous video dependent or coincident lines if you take the ratios of these uh, two linear equations that is a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 they are all equal that means these three ratios are equal that means if the ratios are equal means they are coincident lines or we can say they are um, or they will overlap on uh, e each other. Uh, so, there will be infinite number of solutions. Uh, let us take an example. Uh, suppose uh, I have taken this example x plus y is equal to 4 and 2x plus 2y is equal to 8. And if you take the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, we can observe that a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 equal to c1 by c2. Hence, uh, we will take the tables. I will, if you prepare the order pairs uh, for both the equations, we will get the same points, uh, same order pairs. Uh, that means uh, if you draw uh, these uh, line uh, points and uh, plot these points and draw lines uh, uh, they will be uh, you can say only one line because they overlap two lines uh, overlap on each uh, other. So, such a pair of uh, uh, linear equations are called uh, dependent or coincident lines. So, there will be infinite number of solutions all the points which lie on this line are the solutions of the uh, given pair of linear equations. So, you can conclude that. Uh, they are um, dependent lines are they overlap in each other. So, interesting fact is that uh, if you take the first equation and multiply with 2, you will get the second equation. That means, 
you can prepare such a number of if you multiply with three if you multiply with four so many equations may be formed but all are coincident lengths if you draw up and plot them on the graph you definitely will get uh, only one equation so if you like my video uh, i think uh, uh, you'll uh, like your like and uh, share comment yours lanka ragvendra uh, and uh, wait for my more videos